I use a VPN all the time on my phone. Um, for those of you that don't know what that is, that's a virtual private network. Um, I use that all the time if it's something that I, I'm quite sensitive about. So if I'm doing banking or something, I'll use Tor, which is a set of relays. Um, it just it depends. Like my phone is constantly on a VPN. Uh, my laptop, I'll switch in and out of it depending on the network. Um, I just I don't like the idea that people are watching what I'm doing. Um, like the you know the ability to see someone's Google searches or is not a window into their life, it's a window into their mind because people search for what they think. You know, you, you type down in the simplest form that your brain can fathom your question, um, which is scary and it's terrifying um, that someone might have access to that. You know, Google have access to it, Apple have access to it. Yeah. Um, it just depends, you know. Is, it, is, it, is the trade-off worth it? Is it not? Yeah. I would argue in some cases it is. Um, and then you have to worry, you have to trust your elected officials to rein companies and people back into line. Lewis is particularly thoughtful about the data that is out there about him, and he's very concerned about it and takes it seriously. He's not paranoid, though, and he's got a point. Data is very powerful indeed. But there's a crucial distinction between the information that is put out there at your own wish that you voluntarily publish on the web and information that is collected about you. Distinction between what you might publish on social media and what the university might collect about your everyday experience, your logins to the library, for example, uh, the resources that you use around the university. Are students sufficiently aware of that distinction, sufficiently aware of the difference between their own voluntary activities in social media and information that is collected about them by virtue of the fact that they're registered at a student at a college or a university for a particular course of study. If students are not fully aware of the implications of the information that's collected about them and made available on the web, what should we be doing about it? In order to explore this, we wanted to see whether there was a difference in attitude among students between the data that they voluntarily publish using social media and the information that's collected about them as they go about their everyday lives. And we found that there is. While almost all the students we spoke to uh, take very seriously the publication of their own views, they're obviously in control of that through social media, there's a definite change of attitudes when students begin to think about information that's collected about them on an everyday basis as they go about their lives. This is an area of far greater concern to students as indeed it is to many other people in society. There are lots of values of collecting information. Uh, so something as simple as when I go online and I've bought something, a book that I really like, I know that there'll be another book that'll be suggested to me to say that this is something similar or other people are buying this. Um, on Facebook, you'll see sponsored posts um, of things that you like or things that you've uh, liked so it gains interest and you can kind of see lots of different um, benefits of that. Um, I think it does give you a personalised experience as well, which is what a lot of um, young people are working towards. Uh, so lots more people want things that are catered for them and in, in a more personal way rather than having them uh, as a generic sort of this, go and find it. It's more, here you are, I've brought it to you. I think that's the values of having information collection. So there's, there's a couple of concerns that come to mind uh, with collecting information. Uh, one of them is definitely things like, you know, big brothers watching you. Uh, students can often feel like they're being uh, watched or being monitored uh, for various different reasons. I mean, here at UCLan, uh, there were certain um, issues around uh, the attendance policy and whether you should be a monitored for attendance or whether you shouldn't be. And there was a lot of disgruntled students in terms of, you know, we're, we're adults, we can make our own choices about whether we attend or not. So. Even, even something as simple as collecting whether someone is attending or not can cause um, some controversy. And the thought of other people collecting information about me, it doesn't bother me on a day-to-day -day basis, but thinking about it is a quite a daunting prospect. Thinking that everyone can, well, certain people can gather information without you realising or knowing it, and you can't have any control over that. That does bother me a bit. If you're not comfortable with it, then it shouldn't be for anyone to take anything that you're not comfortable with, considering it's personal. Um, 
But yeah, if it's for necessary means, like your bank, having your bank details, then that's just part of precaution. But apart from that, then yeah. Yeah, so um, in order to, to use the alternative format service, I have, to, um, I have to be registered on that service. So I have to give some of my data away. Um, but I feel like it's anonymized. So I don't feel too bad with that service. Um, but some of the other things that I use, it does, does make me think, like Facebook. Facebook, I hate the fact that academics think it's appropriate to post information about, um, about a meeting or a talk or an event on Facebook. It's not a preferred university system. It's just you think your students are going to use it, but some of us don't use it. Some of us don't want to use it. So recently I, I found out about the, the, um, a plugin you can use, Data Selfie, and I sort of loaded it up and saw all of the information that you can get or that, that, that Facebook gets about you. And that's it. I'm not, I just don't want to use it anymore. Like you can tell how paranoid you are, um, your level of education, just from the things that you're putting up on your wall. And, and yeah, that, that really frightened me.